All right, so welcome to episode number one of Unedited Talks by Aditya Chai. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about my closest encounter to failure, failing an exam. Now, this might be one of, you know, the greatest nightmares for any student, any school student, college student, whatever, right? And I'm still in my school life. So this was the, you know, the closest I came till the really edge of failing. And I'll tell you what exactly happened over here. But before that, if you guys like the content that I make, make sure you guys subscribe. Now, what happened was I had uh, my social science exams coming up in around five days. And like every normal student, I went ahead and, you know, created a schedule. And, you know, these schedules where you plan out day, day number one, I'm going to be doing this and day number two, I'm going to be doing geography, civics and all of that. So uh, this was in grade 10 itself. And we had four major subjects, subject number one, history, geography, civics and uh, economics. And in each one of them, four chapters were coming. Now, in total, we had 16, but out of them, the civics and economics chapter, I had already completed for, you know, the revision worksheets that you're forced to do at school. So I had already completed for them. So I just needed to basically revise them. And this made me overconfident because out of the 16, I had already done eight. So uh, now what I decided was, let me just go ahead and procrastinate. And so I did. And uh, day number one got over and I binge watch Shark Tank and I binge watch it at, you know, at such a rate that I could, I, I had so many startup ideas, but none of them were good because otherwise I would end up in here. So, uh, right. Uh, day one got over. I was just watching Shark Tank. Day two. Now day two, uh, I just, you know, readjusted the schedule. I had four days remaining. So... I could do, you know, two chapters each day and just go through revision of uh, economics and civics. But what happened was even on that day, I decided to procrastinate. And so I did. And I binge watched, uh, binge watched this shark tank and played a lot of cricket. I was too tired to study and I came back home and I slept. Now, the very next day, which was day number three, this realization hit me. It struck me. Fear for the first time actually struck me. Anxiety built up and I thought that now it's too late because there was a lot of things remaining and it was just some sort of a panic attack. I didn't know what was happening. And this, these were like shock waves. They kept coming at regular intervals. So uh, I thought that's all over. I think I might fail this time. But uh, I knew that there was still some time and you know, in the back of my mind, I knew that I if I try, then... I might be able to score good. And uh, what happened was that day I was way too scared. So what on, for that day, I just planned that I would just gather material because I knew that there was no way that I could cover NCRT of history because every single chapter was around 20 pages. So it wouldn't have been worth it. So I just got some notes, these short notes, which had, you know, different variety of questions and whatever, whatever important uh, things were actually necessary in that so uh, I printed them out and I have it right over here if you want it to see how they look like it's it's this I got the spiral and they had all these short notes and if you can read this says nationalism in Europe yeah <laughs> the rise of rationalism in Europe this was my most hated chapter so uh, yeah, I started studying from this and as soon as I sat, I sat at around uh, nine o'clock. Uh, my mother calls me and calls me in my room. I mean, she was at home itself. So she told me that now we have to go for a party. And I asked her where. Then she said to my uncle, we were celebrating an anniversary or a get together. I don't really remember, but we had to leave and we left over there. And my mother actually went to dinner at her friend's house. So she couldn't come to the, you know, party. That was in my uncle's house. My uncle's house is actually just a few, uh, you know, steps away. No, not steps. I wouldn't say steps. It's around 800 meters away. So uh, we went over there and everyone started partying. Everything was chill. Now, as I said, these uh, anxiety buildups were all, you know, like they were in, uh, they were displayed in every regular interval. So now one hit me so hard at 10.50 that I was almost, you know, I had to stop myself from crying. So uh, now what happened was I got scared and I 
asked my uncle whether he could drop me home so that you know I can go ahead and study now of course I couldn't tell them the situation if you guys were wondering why didn't I just tell my mother no because then I would have to explain to her the situation and I thought that no it would just worry her for no reason because to be honest I shouldn't be saying this but I really did feel ashamed of myself because I I was very guilty at that time I didn't deserve you know I didn't deserve to you know get get the break from the party or whatever it was my fault that i didn't use my time properly so uh my mother was still at dinner she had told my uh uncle to just uh let me stay at his house itself and she would come and pick me up tomorrow but then i you know pleaded my uncle and he was like okay sure if you i mean if you have to study then sure so then he dropped me to my home and the first thing that i did was when i reached home was uh, i cried i probably cried the most on that day i cried a lot i was so scared so scared and so anxious and i was just i didn't know what was happening there was a lot of stress a lot of things were going on in my mind right now i was crying a lot now uh, i didn't know what to do from that I wish my mother was there at that particular time because you know whenever I'm scared or maybe I'm sad or whatever happens I go to my mother and uh, to be honest you're never really too old to talk to your parents that's just an excuse just say you don't want to because you're never too old and they always have a solution to a problem maybe you might not be comfortable you can't be comfortable in talking about everything to your parents but you they can still help you with everything so uh i wish my mother was there at that time but unfortunately she wasn't and i was just you know sad i started studying at around 1 o'clock but then i just gave up i thought no nah, I, i i just thought that it's not worth it i might i i should rather sleep or whatever right that's what i felt i was really demotivated so i slept at 1 and i got up at 5 now i didn't do it on purpose but my body just woke up and it felt like i slept for like 8 hours regular so i felt really fresh now i wouldn't suggest anyone to do this on purpose for me it was natural my body just woke up and i didn't i didn't want to go back to sleep again so i'm really thankful for my body that that happened because if that didn't then the situation would have been different so uh then i got up at 5 and from 5 as soon as i got up i just brushed and i had something to eat and from 5 i continuously studied and i can't tell you how much i studied on that day um so it was uh, it was at around 3 that i thought that i might be able to finish everything 3 pm all right i thought that i might be able to finish everything so that was approximately 10 hours from what time i had woken up so uh, from what time i had been awake um so i thought that i might be able to cover everything but then i saw history i was actually doing geography first and i was pretty uh, pretty much done so uh i thought that i might be able to do everything and even you know history would have been even history would be easy but then i saw history and i realized that no this isn't this isn't a piece of cake so i had to do something else now i was getting even more and more scared it is building up now and i'm really sorry if the light is blurry or whatever let me just go towards the ring light so it focuses properly so yeah i thought i might be able to cover everything but then unfortunately that wasn't the case because i mean i did cover it at the end i'm saying at that moment i i saw how big history was so i thought na ab nahi ho payega then i went and told my mother to you know write a fake note saying that i can't you know write the exam and uh, she did accept it in the starting but then she you know tried to you know persuade me and she said that uh, she said and i quote bas try karne mein kya jata hai so i don't know why but that was so subtle but it came out of my mother so that motivated me a lot so i was like and then she also said tumko jitna bhi marks aaye is but it doesn't matter so of course next time repeat mat karna 
so i was like theek hai now if if marks doesn't matter then i'll just study how much ever i can and i'll see what i can do then then once everything cooled down chill see the thing was whenever i'm sad right my mother's or my mother or my father is always there so i talk to them and it does help me out right so that got over and i started studying from 5 o'clock in the after uh, in the evening and from 5 i studied till around 1 am all right and it was 1 am when my uh, friend texted and this was uh, actually day 5 or at 1 am of day 5 because the the thing that you saw over here that was day 4 so we were in day 5 it was 1 am and my friend texted and he was like to put the exams tomorrow and then this was probably the most embarrassing moment for me by tomorrow i didn't realize that it already it was already past 12 but uh i was like i was like dude what are you serious and i i i had the sudden panic thing i don't i don't even know how to describe it but my heart felt underground i don't know where it went so uh that happened and then i was like dude what wasn't it supposed to be on whatever date it was supposed whatever date it was assigned as so then he was like yeah it is on that day so i was like dude you're saying it's tomorrow and i even started crying a little and then uh you know i started heavily breathing and uh, no that wasn't as that wasn't a symptom of asthma so uh okay i started breathing heavily and then i told him and then i and then i talked to him and then he was like to really see is just look at your time look at the time right now in that day and the day before i didn't really you know had the best look at time i couldn't really figure out what time it was i never really you know i'm out of words actually i don't even know how to describe this but time and i didn't seem to go together at that time so i i didn't know what time it was so it was 1 am and then he was like that and then i was like bro i'm going to kill you bro you meet me on the exam day so uh of course i didn't do anything i didn't kill him uh then we had our fifth day and i slept at around 1:30 1:45 and i got up again at 6 o'clock and this time i completed history and history i completed from two sources first there's this all in one thing i don't know if you guys know this but if there's one book that com- that changed the way i you know studied it's this book all in one this is probably the best the best it isn't sponsored because look at the number of subscribers i have but uh this is probably the best book for social science it has it has summary i have to be honest even for my board exams i never read the ncert all i did was this all in one and i just read the questions and i still scored 96 overall including my internals after you know one mark was cut for notebook and all but right so i still scored 96 only using this now i'm not suggesting you to do the same everyone has that you know own preference ncert was supposed i was supposed to do ncert but then i didn't so uh, i did this uh, this all in one and also bhai ki padhai that guy that guy made everything like a movie so i loved him for that and i followed him a lot i binge watch all of his videos of sst i didn't follow him for science not because he wasn't good just because science was you know small for ncert uh ncert was small per chapter so uh yeah so i binge watch everything and i revise everything okay and then i went to the examination hall paper came in front of me and i was like shit mai dar kyu raha tha and it was it was just like this feeling why why was i scared i mean in that moment it felt like it wasn't worth it like or being so anxious being so worried you know crying so much it it 
felt like it wasn't worth it and i did it for no reason and everything was super easy other than the map because i didn't study the map and i managed to score 95 in that in the test all right so it it's it's actually just about not giving up they just bas try karne mein kya jata hai as my mother says so don't don't quit till it's over and you never know how it's going to turn out because this this is what happened with me i i felt that being scared wasn't really worth it and that was my story if you guys have any you know similar story then make sure you guys share it with me in instagram dms or anywhere you feel like so that was it for this video i will see you guys in another one but uh, make sure that you guys don't give up moral of the story is just just don't try karne mein kya jata so i'll see you guys in another video till then goodbye